Hello everyone, it's me Crystal and I'm back with another food review and other things. And again, unfortunately, we don't have a other thing today because there ain't nothing going on around here. So today I have a special surprise you may be able to see it in the background. We are at what's called rallies. And I always say rally burger. I don't know why. I don't know where, where what other parts of the country uh, they have this. But here in Missouri, we have rallies. Some places have what's called checkers. And it's essentially the same thing. And it's a very, uh, the, the decor, my beautiful bow. The decor is like a racetrack, I think, because you're supposed to be able to drive through there real quick. So before I forget, I'm going to just take a thumbnail because I, I have a habit of forgetting. So let's just do this here right off the bat. Actually, let's get my drink. Mmm. See, I already started. The fries at this place, the best you'll ever get. See, I was right. Checkers rallies. It says, we promise great fries every time. If we fry bomb, the next one's on us. Limit one request per person and per email address every 14 days. Oh, I guess you could have somebody creating a bunch of emails to get you some free, what's it called, fries. Now you will notice I am wearing an incontinence pad and it's not a name brand poise pad I believe it's either Walgreens or Walmart or something but as promised we are celebrating there's many different names for it that I've come up with World Incontinence Day World Incontinence Awareness Day uh, International Incontinence Day International Incontinence Awareness Day. So many names. You can call it what you like. Just get yourself a nice little pad. I put a scrunchie on mine. That way it sort of scrunchied it up and made it look like a nice little bow tie. Maybe I should put it in the middle. And they're self-sticking. You take off the back and it sticks. Oh, well, look at that. That looks really cute. Oh, that looks cute. Like a little... Mickey Mouse bow tie. So today, the thing to uh, we remember and celebrate on this day is there are people in the world who pee pee in their pants. Me being one of them, for no reason. Sneeze, laugh, cough. Yeah, that some people just have pee come out for no reason, and that's called incontinence. Alrighty, we got some stickers on here. They got a lot of, uh, they really want you to email. Tell us how we're doing it. Guestobsessed.com. Exclusive offer. Alrighty, let's get to the nitty gritty here. I got what's called the Big Buford. And it's big. And she said, would you like triple, triple uh, meat? I said, ma'am, I'm large. Okay, I can eat double, but I can't eat a triple. And then inside the bag, you'll notice there is a 
napkins full of grease already. But there are some bag fries. And it appears there's not a lick of ketchup. Is there a ketchup shortage? Why don't they just give you a condiment? We all know we're going to eat ketchup. It's got herbs and spices on it. Really, really good. Mm. The bag is... Again, they're really trying to plug that email, that bad fry email. See the race track uh, decor? It's a lot of loud. I'm on a main thoroughfare here, and it is really loud. I'll get yourself to a checkers because these fries 10 out of 10 look at them filled with spices and what kind of spices you might say I don't know pepper looks like some pepper on there mmm Really good. Let's get to the burger. Oh, wow. And I don't know who Buford is, but they call it the Big Buford. A lot of meat product. Oh, shit. It's a very soft bun. Here goes nothing. Down the hatch. Mmm. Damn. Good stuff. I don't have a, a new car yet, as you can notice. There's just so many choices. I can't choose just one. I mean, I've looked at Kia's. I've looked at, I ain't looking at no Fords. Look at, uh, you know, we bought every vehicle there is out there. I gotta find my phone because I have some questions that people had wrote in, if you believe that. Uh, let's see here. I was gonna have the little fella write, write him on the card so I could read him easier. I look really cute with my little bow on. Where is my favorite place to buy clothes? And it's with self, her, his or her name is Self Care with Hariel. My favorite place to buy clothes, honestly, is Walmart. Because they got a lot of big sizes. Now, some people might say, oh, I like to buy my clothes from Torrid. Or Lane Bryant, because those are big gal clothes. Oh, yeah, they are, but they're also expensive. $37 for a t-shirt? No. That's too much money. I can make a damn t-shirt for that. I got to turn on my car for a second to get my battery revving up here. So, Walmart, yard sale. You can find a good deal at a yard sale on a maybe somebody's mom died and she was a larger woman hit up their their yard sale hit up their estate sale go to the thrift store somebody has to a fat person has to die though for there to be clothes at a thrift store 
Because fat folks, we ain't giving up our clothes. Because there ain't enough of them to go around. You can go to a thrift store right now and ask them at the front. Has anybody passed on that's large and donated clothes? And they can say yes or no. Because if not, you ain't going to find nothing for you. Because I ain't giving away anything like this beautiful shirt or any clothes I have until I pass away. Because like I said, they're going to charge you extra. Oh, this is what they do. Oh, this just makes me mad. Let's say... Oh, there goes my nose again. Okay. They have... Let's say they have a t-shirt. And I know I've talked about this before because this makes me really angry. They have a t-shirt for sale. They'll have it small to extra large. Same price, $14.99. Then you get to 1X, 2X, 3X. They're going to start charging you three to four extra dollars. And they say, oh, because there's extra material. Okay. I could, I could believe that. But how come the small and the medium, you ain't charging less because there's less material? Answer me that, cl clothing manufacturers. I get it. Every every piece of extra material costs more money. Okay, well then you're cheating the people wearing small and extra small. You're making them uh, pay as much as the extra large. I just think it's really funny that I'm talking about plus size clothing as I gorge myself on a big Buford. Some people would say that's irony. Okay. Isn't it ironic? Remember that song? Atlantis Morissette sang it. Okay. Madonna Laurie asked, I'm obsessed with watching you. Love you so much. Madonna from Oz. Well, that ain't a question, Madonna, but I thank you for your comment. From Oz, from the Wizard of Oz? I don't know. Max38 says, hairy or shaved ass? Well, you could probably guess, because if you could see close up on my face, so many chin hairs. Now, if I ain't shaving just right here where it's easily accessible, you know that I ain't shaving my ass, which is not easily accessible. And there ain't nowhere in the Bible that I'm aware of where they say gals should shave their asses. If God didn't want me to have hair on my butt, then God shouldn't have put it there. Period. If God wanted me to have a bare asshole, ass, then God would have said, and to on thee there will be thine no hair on thine butt. Mmm. I'm really getting... I'm getting into the nitty gritty now. Mmm. Red onion, tomato, lettuce. That it, we ain't gonna talk about the lettuce. Lettuce ain't in season, I guess. Mmm. Mmm. If you don't, if you don't celebrate Incontinence Day, well, everybody should celebrate it, but if you ain't incontinent, celebrate someone else that is. And it's not even about celebrating as much as it is about awareness. Because people need to know, you know, that there are people out there that are going to probably smell like urine. Because they have a constant stream of urine in their pants. So if you ever meet me, 
and you think to yourself, wow, she smells like a toilet bowl. You'll know why. This is a, I got Hawaiian punch. It's really good. It's sweet. This place is busy, man. See, this this little part of the town has had the same restaurants. They got the Waffle House Lee's Chicken. How I don't even know how that place stays open. They got a Dairy Queen and uh, what else? A Chinese restaurant. This is really something different for this, this part of town. And people are just loving it. I mean, it's so many folks in the drive-thru. I mean, I can't get over how cute I look. Let's see here. Damn. Mackenzie said, have you been dating at all? Been able to meet any nice gentlemen? And the reason I'm laughing is, there ain't a lot of nice gentlemen out there, from what I could tell. You know, my heart's been broken from Rodney. I think men are intimidated, you know? Because I'm a, a gal who speaks my mind. And I'm afraid that they think, well, if Rodney comes back, I'm going to lose her. Because they think I'm still hung up on Rodney. Well, I'm not. Do I cry about it at night? Yes. Do I say, <clears throat> do I say, uh, Please bring him back to me in the middle of the night. Yes, I do. But that's my subconscious. Me and my regular conscious brain, I know he ain't right for me. It's like a witch's finger. <laughs> I, I, ta I tap you like a tammy with thine witch's fingers. I'm going to see Tammy soon. I just need to... I mean, I've just got to move closer. I've got to move closer to Jim. I've got to move closer to Tammy. Do I have to move closer to Diamond? No. And lots of people ask about Diamond. I don't know why. Several people asked me if I got uh, got the smell uh, taken care of. Kiva70 said, did you get the smell and itch taken care of and did the doc send an Uber? He did send an Uber and I think because he felt sorry for me. Because he knew I'm an older woman and he kept saying, you're elderly. I'm not elderly. I'm older. I'm not elderly. I don't qualify for elderly benefits like getting 10% off at a the Cracker Barrel or whatever they do. I can't go into the grocery store when they have a senior citizen time in the morning. But yeah, he said it was um, something called... I think he said bacterial vaginosis. And it's just naturally occurring. Some women just get it, and I just happen to have gotten it. By no fault of my own. Alrighty. Let's see here.
do you like the 80s? Uh, yeah. The 80s was the best decade that ever was. What did we have in the 80s? We had, for one, Duran Duran. We had the start of John Stamos. We had neon clothing. We had, what else do we have? We had new Coke. And some of y'all might not even know what that is. Well, Coke came up with this new formula that was supposed to be better. And if you don't believe me, look on your computer. Type in G-O-O-G-L-E dot com. And when that comes up, you're going to type in, what is new Coke? Well, Coke thought they was going to improve upon the most perfect recipe. I could have told them that they couldn't, but... So they come out with this, oh, this is a, a new Coke. And I'm telling you, it's the biggest travesty that ever happened to this country. And some people might say, oh, it's, the worst thing happened in this country was, and they'll name some like kind of political thing, like, I don't know, Watergate. I don't even know what that is. But what I say, the worst thing that ever happened to this country was when they tried to come out with new Coke and say it was better than the original recipe. So they just damn near had to just put out a press release and say, we're sorry. <laughs> you know, we're sorry that we thought that this was going to be better. Because it wasn't. I don't remember the exact flavor. I remember taking a drink of it and thinking... Don't fix something that ain't broken. That's what the old saying. And I think that's a biblical thing. It's probably uh, Felicians 9 verse 17. Don't fix thine that is not breaketh. And I think that could carry on to all kinds of parts of your life. Let's say you're... Uh, toilet is leaking just a little bit you take the whole thing apart and now it's completely broken don't 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 try to fix it if it ain't broken just like with my relationship with Rodney I was always you know come on baby let's you know let's have a special date night it'll make it more romantic I should have just not even said nothing you know, because I probably run them off. I probably run them off. And sometimes I get into the blame game, you know. Blame myself for what stuff that he done. And we all know damn well that the man... Oh, my hair is just really giving me trouble today. The man should not have gone out and spent all my social security. If you're going to come here, you have to get a large fry. And you have to ask them for ketchup. Unlike me. And it'll say large on the bottom. If you get it, you say, well, that don't look large. Flip it. And they'll say the size. Who is calling me? I'm sick of these people calling me all day. All right. Here's some more questions. Oh, that tastes so good. Miss Crystal. This is from Ginger Spice World. Miss Crystal, when did you first develop your luxurious hairstyle? I've had this same hairstyle for many, many years. Because the way I see it, and this goes back to my previous statement. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This hairstyle has looked good on me since I was a child. I've always had nice hair. 
always. Always getting lots of compliments on it. And I figure if I showed up in here in this food review with a totally different hairstyle, people would lose their minds. They probably wouldn't even recognize me. So again, the moral of the story is if it ain't if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Somebody else said, who's your hairdresser? How much do your cuts cost and what hair products do you use? Excuse me. I go to a little gal. She's got her uh, salon inside of her home. And I like that. It's comfortable. It's private. There's never a bunch of, ugh. There's never a bunch of little kids running around in there making noise, you know. So, the thing is, is she got these real old timey chairs, and I hardly can't fit in them no more. So I had to get a regular kitchen chair, and she brings it in there for me. And she can't spin me around or nothing, so she has to walk around me. Because them old-timey chairs, I don't know if they didn't have no fat people in the old days or what the hell's going on. But they're about this wide. And then when it's time to go wash my hair in that bowl, then I have to move the kitchen chair over and put my head back into the bowl. So after she cuts it, and the cut, the cuts are... If you're just getting a straight cut, it's $6. If you're getting a cut and then you sit under that little dryer, that's $8. It's $2 extra for the dryer. And I don't, I don't really use a lot of product. Because I find just natural. Ooh. I find that natural is best. I mean, my scalp is itching me to death right now. Molly Daisy says if you could time travel what era would you choose there goes my battery again you could travel I'm going to be honest with you if I could time travel I would go back into the 1700s when and this is confession uh, when same time Outlander was because I'm convinced if I could go back in time that James Frazier from Outlander would see me and want to marry me because my hair is very similar to the gal he likes on the show um, not really the same body type as Claire um, I have a good sense of humor like her and I adapt to very stressful situations quickly. So if Jamie's out, you know, fighting in the, uh, what's it called? The Battle of Culloden was one of the big battles there, battles in Scotland. Let's say he's fighting and he wants me to help him. I won't necessarily help him because I'm not good at uh, strong arm fighting or any of that stuff, but I will wait for him, and then when he's ready to come, I'll help him, you know, take a shower, clean his clothes, iron his, uh, they were kilts over there in Scotland, and I just really like a kilt. A kilt is really, and it's not because, oh, they don't wear no underwear. No, just, I think a man, especially a Scottish man, looks very handsome in a kilt. Oh, look at that. You see all that juiciness? And this bun is exceptionally soft. So yeah, I traveled to the 1700s. What would I take with me though? That'd be the thing. Let's say, she didn't say this, but let's say we could take three items. Don't want to take a cell phone. Cause that'd be a dead giveaway that you're a time traveler and they'll put me to death for sure. They'll say, you're a witch. 
But like, good luck getting me up on that uh, stake. And I just stand there like this. I'd be like, good luck. It's gonna need a couple fellas to get me up there. Can't take my phone. I would take some kind of little camera though. Maybe one of those little spy cameras so that I could take pictures. Cause nobody's gonna believe me. Not a soul. If I said I'm gonna travel back in time and I come back, no one will believe me. They'll lock me up. Um, gotta take a little camera. What else am I gonna need? Hmm. I probably take uh. Well, let's see. I take some sort of soap because I know they stunk real bad back then. Jose didn't take no baths. Frequently they didn't. Because, you know, water wasn't readily available. They didn't have a bathroom like you or I have. Soap, a camera, or maybe a pack of gum. Because I don't want my breath to be bad when I'm smooching on James Fraser. And if you don't know who James Fraser is, I'm going to show you on my phone. I'm going to go to Google and show you. <coughs> Alright. James. Or you could also go watch the show Outlander. Whichever you prefer. So I typed in Google. Jamie Fraser Pictures. And you're going to see. And you're going to say, oh, what about John Stamos? You can't compare the two. This ain't a real person. John Stamos is real. Okay, this is him. And if you look at that and say he ain't cute, you need to see the Waffle House. If you say he ain't cute, you need an attitude adjustment because that's the most beautiful man on earth. And that's the damn truth. Um, don't come at me with, oh, Harry Styles is the, Harry Styles is cute, but he's a child. What am I going to do with Harry Styles? Babysit him? This man don't need babysitting. He's a grown-up. He's a grown-up that is very handsome. Look at him. And the thing is, is they wore lots of very elaborate clothing in Scotland in the olden days because everybody's so damn cold. It's cold as shit over there. They wore a thing underneath and they wore the regular clothes. And the poor old gals, they had to wear corsets and all this and that. And if I went back in time and I went to a store to get some clothes, I don't think they'd have a thing to fit me. I'd just say, sew two of them little dresses together over there. Give it to me. And they'd say, I'm sorry, mate. What did you say? And then I'd have to fake an accent because I, again, I'm not getting tried as a witch because I will not pass that test. You know what they do? They'd say, oh, if you're not a witch or if you're a witch or whatever, Get yourself out of this situation. Well, I'm not a witch. How am I supposed to get myself out of there? I have played with the witch board in my life. But I'm not a witch. Have I tried to make uh, love spells before in the past? Yes, but I'm not a witch. Do I have anything against witches? No. I'm just not one. If I was a witch, we wouldn't be celebrating International Incontinence Day because I wouldn't be pissing in my pants. I wouldn't be sitting here wishing that I could kiss Jamie Fraser. I would be kissing Jamie Fraser. Man, this is really good. So check out Outlander. I have a music, uh, I got a music suggestion. Somebody sent me a message on Instagram and said, you got to check this out. And I said to him or her, I don't remember. 
I used to have that CD, and I'm going to try to find it. And if I can't find it right now, I'm going to start cursing. This will really make me mad. I bought a bunch of CDs at the thrift store. Oh my God, I cannot find it. Was this it? Oh, here it is. Y'all gonna lose your minds. You're gonna absolutely lose your minds. Do you see this right here? Chris Gaines. And you might be saying, who is Chris Gaines? Well, look closely. That's Garth Brooks. And you're probably saying to yourself, that ain't Goth Brooks. That's some man who sings emo music. <laughs> Surprise, it is him. Google it. 100% Garth. And for whatever reason, I don't know what the story was in the 90s, he thought, I'm going to shake things up a little bit, and I'm going to dress as a very sensual and sexy emo man. And boy, did he ever. even changed his eye color so I cannot review the actual music on here because YouTube will shut me down find me and send me to jail so you thought these pictures were good I'm about to show you the best picture that was ever taken of Garth Brooks and you're gonna shit yourself because I did I, I honestly shit myself so hard look at this What is this man doing? <laughs> he committed so hard to this bit. Whatever it was. Look at that. That was the kind of man that I wanted to uh, date in the 90s. Would he have dated me? Probably. Probably. Some of the songs on here are called... Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Didn't read this part yet. Chris Jean Gaines was born in Brisbane, Australia. His family moved to Los Angeles area when he was five years old. As an only child, Chris was expected by many to carry the torch in a lifelong passion for music. A passion so great that Chris decided to quit school his senior year at morning's side high school to pursue his music professionally although he did complete his GED in 1987 go for Chris Gaines so there's a very long oh god there's a lot of it says tra in the winter of 1992 Chris was involved in a violent single car crash that nearly ended his life thank god it didn't so this basically tells the story of him but it doesn't tell the story of why Garth Brooks thought he could get away away with trying to trick us why did you try to do that garth brooks we know this is you bro the dead giveaway for me honestly the tights i mean what a pose if anything, he should be commended for this pose. And look at that muscle. I showed this to Tammy. She's like, damn, look at his muscle. I thought he didn't have pants on. I said, I know, right? So, where's the back of it? CD. That's the way I remember it is the first song. Lost in You, Snow in July. Uh, just so many beautiful songs on here. And I wish I could see this picture. I can't see it because his face is covered up. But boy, that looks really intriguing. <laughs> it looks very intriguing. So get yourself on eBay and get yourself this CD. You will not regret it. And I'm going to go, after I turn this off, I'm going to do a music review and review this particular CD. Because it's good. It says, the pre-soundtrack to the movie, The Lamb. What the hell's a pre-soundtrack? ChrisGaines.com. I wonder if that site's still good. I'm going to answer one or two more questions. 
And then I'm going to, oh, there's James again. Whew, damn, he is really cute. And just gorgeous. Not just cute, but he is actually gorgeous. Let's see, Chris Gaines dot com I did not spell it right that will not work I, every time I hit the A a Q comes up it's not even close to it dot com let's see if I click on this website it don't work no more I'm going to be pissed Chris Gaines, Scaler of Teams Ideas. Now, this ain't the Chris Gaines that we know. This is another fella. So, he must have bought that from... I know that you could buy websites from people. So, let's see here. Now, I was going to ask, answer one or two more questions. How much do you like Diet Right? I don't like it, Roculon. I do not like it. Uh, Miss Crystal, what is the last book you read that does not include the phone book? I actually think it was the phone book because I was looking up where the closest dry cleaner was. So I got my phone book out and my phone book's real small. In the old days when I lived in a bigger city that have a white pages and a yellow pages. Well, mine has a white and yellow in there. So for the yellow pages, you think dry cleaner. First letter of dry cleaner is a D. So you go to the D's and you swish. You could look, it'll say like dentist, uh, drywall person. Um, what else starts with a D? Dog trainer, uh, dog uh, veterinarian. That'd probably be in V. What else? What other things start with D? Dentist, doctor. The DMV. Uh, you get the idea. So you go to the D's and you, it's in alphabetical order. And then it'll come and say, it'll say like dry cleaners. Then it'll say uh, this dry cleaner, that dry cleaner. And it'll say the address and then the phone number. So actually, technically, it was the phone book because I was trying to find uh, the dry cleaner. And people will say, why don't you just look on your phone? Why should I waste the electricity when I have a good phone book right there? Now, for the white pages, which, here's the difference for all you young folks. Young folks, yellow pages was for business, white pages was for people. So, let's say you know a friend, and their name is, I don't know, Jamie Fraser. You won't call Jamie Fraser. You get out the white pages. <clears throat> now, you're going to go by their last name. His name is Fraser starts with an F. You're going to flip to the F. So you go A, B, C, D, E, and then you get to F's. So it's going to have names like F A, F A A, F A B. So you got to go to all the way to the F R's. Then you lick your finger like this and start flipping through the F R's until you find. F R A. Oh, I'm at the Frasers now. Then, to complicate it, now you got to look for James Fraser. So it's going to say Fraser, comma, James. So then you scan down till you find it. Hopefully, there ain't too many of them. You find it, it'll say their address and their phone number. And here's the part that got you in the 90s. I, ne I don't remember if I talked about this either. They'd have a teen hotline. Well, not a hotline. It's a teen line. Like, the teenager of the house had their own phone because they were rich. Teen line. Now, we would call and prank those te teenagers when we was kids. I'm just saying. That's what we'd do. So, if you ever time travel back to the 80s or 90s and you wanted to maybe get a teenager boyfriend or girl because you were a teenager, that's a good way to do it. Did I ever get a boyfriend that way? No. But we did it anyway. And they would pick up. That's the thing. The teenagers would pick up. Hello? Hi, I'm a really hot girl. I'm 14. How old are you? What? How old are you? I'm a hot girl. 
uh, and they'd usually hang up on us is what would happen. But that's what we do. You know, it was fun. We didn't have a lot of activities when we were young. We didn't have Xboxes and hoverboards and all that. We pranked people with a telephone. And not this kind of telephone. I'm talking about a telephone that's hardwired into your home. And there was no caller ID, so they didn't know who was calling. This was back in the old days. So, well, I'm going to get out of here because I feel like maybe I have a scalp infection because my head is really itching. But thank you for coming and uh, listening to me chit-chatting and for asking me questions. Um, what else I got to say? That's it. Just that's it. Nothing more. All right, I'll see y'all soon, okay? Remember to celebrate somebody who pees in their pants today. It's a really special day. All right, bye-bye. <sighs> you have got to stop answering questions about Rodney. He's out of your life. He ain't never coming back. He ain't never coming back, Crystal. Ahem. <clears throat>